Three. I'm Addie Smith and I'm here with coach Chase Brooks of the men's soccer team before their game against St. Louis. Coach, St. Louis is an A-10 powerhouse. How do you how did you prepare for this game? You know, we had a great game on Friday night at Dayton. We fell a little bit short, but we did a lot of the little things the right way. A lot of the things that we did that night are going to carry over into today. Um, try to feed off the momentum of such a close game and, and really just go after them. You know, we, we respect everybody we play, but we're not scared of anyone we're going to play against. And we're going to go right at them today. You guys are in prime position to make the A-10 tournament this year. Is there a goal? Do you want to be in the top four, top two? What's the mindset to actually go into the tournament? Uh, great question. I mean, the mindset's always the A-10 tournament. As far as top two, yeah, that'd be fantastic. Uh, the goal is always the A-10 tournament, though. We've got a, a rough road ahead of us. You know, we've got still three of the top four teams in the conference to play. So it's not going to be easy by any means. We're going to have to go and push and, and, and dig deep. So. So you actually played at Dayton, which is where the A-10 championship is going to be hosted. Uh, did you kind of get used to the field in a sense? Did you tell the boys to get used to the field in case the tournament's going, if you guys make the tournament? Absolutely. And, and the nice thing for me is I, I worked at Dayton for four years. I understand the surface and it is a particular surface and you have to play it in a particular way. So it was nice to actually be there and, and see it firsthand for the guys. And, and we'll be ready. If, we, if we're in the A-10 tournament, there's no doubt we'll be ready for it. What's your game plan against St. Louis today? Uh, you know, I think it's two teams that match up very well. We play soccer, and, and, and you know, it's not a kickball game. Um, both teams are going to be working hard. For us, it's, it's about can we work harder, can we be cleaner, can we be tough into challenges, and, and really, can we test them? Can we get shots on frame and, and, and make them make the saves that they need to make? And, you know, that's been our problem the last you know, game against Dayton is 16 shots, but only four on frame. So, so can we get those shots on frame today? And if we do, it, it could be a good day for us. So that's the interview. Make sure to stick around for some highlights from today's game and a post-game interview with Coach Chase Brooks. Smith here with coach Chase Brooks in halftime of the St. Louis game. Coach, how do you expect to get momentum back in the second half? Just got to continue to provide more energy in the attacking third. Um, you know, they're, we're letting them bully us around a little bit out there. You know, you know, we're too worried about the ref's calls and different things like that. You know, we got to play soccer. We got to knock the ball around faster and we got to get at them. Just got to run. What happened with that first St. Louis goal, do you think? Uh, it was just an error, just an error, just, uh, you know, that's soccer sometimes. We just got caught lean in one direction, the ball goes the other direction. So, um, you know, I thought we bounced back well after that, and then, you know, one last mistake right there before halftime, and, and that's the game. You know, two mistakes, two individual mistakes that, that led to a 2-0 deficit, so now it's time to get it back. Do you have a game plan for the second half, or do you just want to continue playing the way, the way that you did in the first? Yeah, I mean, I think our play's been fine. I think we have to be a little bit more dynamic in the attacking third. Smith here with coach Chase Brooks at the end of the St. Louis game. The Dukes just lost 2-0. to zero. Coach, what do you think happened during this game? Well, I mean, it was really a very tight game. Um, we had our opportunities and the difference when you're playing a top 25 team is, is who's going to make the mistake and, and who's going to capitalize on that mistake. And, and today we made two, two pretty big errors and they capitalized on both and that's the difference. The momentum seemed to push for the Dukes at the end of the game. What do you think happened that they couldn't capitalize on it? Yeah, you know, you play a tough team that's bunkered in and they, they believe in what they're doing. Obviously, they're, they're in the top 25 for a reason. And, um, you know, we just need that little extra bit of quality in the final third. And, and that's what's going to try to get us over the hump there. And then Rhode Island doesn't have a win in the Atlantic 10 Conference yet. Do you look at that as a bounce back game before taking on the top two teams in the conference? Uh, I mean, every team in the A-10 is tough. It doesn't matter if you've got a win or, or, no, or not. Um, we've got to go and we've got to be prepared to get three points. And we've got to do it in a tough environment away. And just got to be ready to work. Perfect. Thank you, Coach.